nice. I like it. The nice speed on it, man. But look at that. This one is really, even in 3D mode, it's very locked in. Inverted is really nice and stable. According to my feeling now, it's really more stable in 3D. Oh, that was that was that was a bad crash, man. Completely pilot mistake. But look at that. It's still flying, man. Without worries of breaking anything because this mm, K110S from XK is a tank of a mini 3D RC helicopter. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, Alishan Mal here. Welcome outdoors and welcome to more mini 3D RC helicopter reviews. Today, in my hands, you are looking at XKK 110S, which is a you know improved version of original XK Blast K110 RC helicopter. Now, I have posted a review of that XKK 110 helicopter a while ago, and I can tell you that helicopter was the one mini 3d rc helicopter that took most of the abuse most of the crashes right here on the concrete and it still kept flying still kept doing 3d so now that there is a new version k110s what is improved in this new version does it have more power does it have better flight performance is it better in uh, 6g mode for beginners is it better in 3d mode with more power uh, compared to uh, the old k110 all these questions i'm going to answer in this complete flight video review so stay with me now before we proceed please give this video a big like and subscribe to my channel hit that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications so you stay updated for all the upcoming uploads all right so let me first give you a closer look at xkk 110 s helicopter mini 3d rc helicopter try to figure out what's new in this helicopter after that batteries are charged radio has full batteries yes you're watching me holding the xk original x6 radio so for the sake of this flight video review that this came complete ready to fly in the box to me so i'm just going to use this radio and fly it and later in next video we'll set it up with the radio master tx16s or zoro or futaba and i'll post the videos all right let's take a closer look as i have put the specs on the screen you can see the size height length and stuff like that so i don't have to talk about that look at this there's a new canopy design well anybody can design a new canopy there's nothing new about it they still have four points uh canopy installation system or canopy mounting system which actually breaks you know is the first one to break when you crash so they have provided four of them you still have three if you break one you still have two if you break two you still have one if you break three you're going to still hold the canopy or later if you broke all of these just throw the canopy away and start flying helicopter just like this now it is a fly barless system and what i feel that the servos are really nice and soft now look at that are they using digital servos now? There is nothing mentioned about that, but they do feel more soft and like digital. Ooh, check this out. Notice there's a brushless motor here now. Uh huh. I believe previously the K110 did not have brushless motor. So now we have a brushless motor. Same gear design. There's a main gear. Do remember if you crash upside down, the uh, whole assembly of shaft will pull down and you will have pitch system problem. You know, collective pitch will give you some issues. So to fix that, all you need to do is, you know, push the gear back up or you know adjust the uh, main shaft and swash plate properly once again we'll see how that thing go uh, I, i'm not planning to crash it today so we have a brushless motor seems like new servos uh rest of the things it still seems like the same old old you know on the swash plate plastic parts okay the flight control system uh, i completely forgot what was that before but here it is as you can take a look just one board right here and it offers uh, 6g stabilized mode for beginners and 3d aerobatic modes for 3d for intermediate pilots okay as uh, still nice and soft nylon type landing gear the battery bay is nice and solid okay not sure if i remember if before it was that and a glass fiber rod for the tail which actually has the motor wires for the tail motor tail motor it still looks like um 
brushed motor. Mm, well, uh, if it holds, I don't mind. If it holds the tail lock nicely during the flight, I don't mind. The battery, it came with this uh, fully max uh, battery, which is a 450 milliamp. 3.7 volt and lucky me i had some emax uh, whoop drone fpv whoop 450 milliamp batteries 3.8 volt high voltage adc sitting at home so i just prepared them as well i do remember the helicopter didn't come with the jst ports i mean jst connectors i had to replace the connector right here because i didn't have those original connectors so uh, i replaced the connectors on the batteries and the helicopter as well now for the radio um xkx6 we all know what kind of radio it is does a very very good job it's still very good for those who do not have a radio they want to get ready to fly helicopter they can still use this radio and this radio works with Futaba SFHSS systems any other helicopters mini helicopter that are running SFHSS system you can still configure those with this radio control and fly them however I would recommend get a radio master TX16S because this is kind of a little bit painful when it comes to set up the helicopters pitch curves and throttle curves and also it's just a you know El Cheapo radio if you want to fly RC helicopters for your hobby uh, you know long term I suggest you get a good radio control so nothing much to see actually right here okay let's give it a flight and see how it goes how it flies and if it has more power more performance how good it is for 3d and um, how good it is for beginners we are gonna find out very very soon so let's get it ready now do remember this helicopter does not have any kind of GPS system so uh, you won't be able to you know um, rely on gps if you are a beginner you will still be able to fly it because it's very lightweight and if you're flying over grass you crash it there's no problems with this helicopter now i haven't touched any settings in the radio controller so this is complete stock right outside the box as it came and i'll see how it goes all right and man i'm out of three practice i didn't do manual 3d for a long time okay here we go bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ooh, nice power. Brushless power, baby. So it's drifting with the wind, of course, but look at that. How easy it is to fly. It's, it's actually pretty hands-free, apart from throttle control and, you know, because it doesn't have barometer. If you set the trims right, it actually flies really nice and, you know, Easy to fly, easy to control. Okay, what happens when you put more dual rates? Ooh, nice. Nice speed, nice response on... On the rudder as well, look at that. Ooh, nice, I like it, the nice speed on it, man. It's actually very easy to control. If you have throttles and trims set right, it will drift of course, but it's easy to control. So beginners might have a little bit issue with the, you know, speed, given that even in low, uh, you know, dual rates, you still get much speed but overall you will be able to have fun with this helicopter handles wind properly really nice and properly okay let's see the 3d mode then so it's right here oh sorry i put it down i will the thing is you have to first switch to the gear so it switches to 3d mode right so gear down and now the speed didn't change actually the speed didn't change okay i'm inverted uh oh one moment i told you i'm out of practice very nice and stable in 3d even man look at that a nice power yeah very nice power actually I have a person coming from my left so I'm just gonna go forward a little bit and here we go 
Look at that. I'm doing some ugly TikToks. And it's actually, oh, not on my head. It's actually holding them really nice. Inverted is really nice and stable. Oh, crashed a little bit. Not much, don't worry. This thing can take some serious abuse actually. Rolls, I haven't tried. Some ugly rolls. Okay, still doing it. Batteries are still going on. Still doesn't give me any sign of uh, low power. So it's pretty much, I would say, according to my feeling now, it's really more stable in 3D. Before, with this stock radio control, when I was doing 3D on XKK110, I was I was all over the place, trust me. But look at that, this one is really, even in 3D mode, it's very locked in. Uh oh, almost crashed it. Controlled it there. Okay, crashed and I really wanted to crash it as you have seen uh, it took me time to actually turn off the 3d mode and I crashed it so I'll just put it down here and uh, here we go see what I'm talking about this helicopter is designed to take abuse oh Oh, that was that was that was a bad crash, man. Completely pilot mistake. But look at that. It's still flying, man. I mean, what else do you want? Look at that, man. Now the battery is giving me some signs. So I'm just gonna land. Yeah, I'm losing on the higher punches. But look at that man. I mean, I had how many two crashes just now. All pilot mistake. But hey, look at that, it's still flying. And that is why I say XKK110 was one of my best favorite in Mini 3D RC helicopters because it took a lot of abuse and kept flying and now I'm really happy to see that XKK 110S is actually better and even in 3D as I mentioned I felt it did very well compared to the previous version it is much more stable and look at that I'm doing 3D this long time man on a 3.7 volt small battery and it's still flying huh look at that still flying still have power losing it yes losing it all right let's bring it for the landing beautiful man xk 
you really have done an outstanding job here with K110S. Come here, come here. I'll just hold you in my hands. <laughs> awesome, man. I'm not done yet. I'm just going to change the battery and do some more 3D, give it more abuse. Um, I mean, give it more 3D and see how it goes, how long it will survive and how many crashes it can take. Okay, check this out. The main gear is still not chipped. No problems at all. So it seems like they did improve the main gear material as well. Hmm. That's nice, that's nice. Why did I love the previous XK K110? Is because I give that helicopter a lot of abuse and it still kept flying, it still kept doing 3D without issues. The only problems I had with that helicopter that I broke these mounts, that I broke these little pins that hold the uh, canopy and the gear was ripped and also on a hard hit uh, inverted, the whole shaft moved, slipped down and I had to just pull it back up and fix the gear right. But now, honestly speaking, I'm absolutely happy to see that XK K110S is keeping up with the tradition of K110 durability and it's taking it to one more step towards better flight performance, more stable 3D. K110S, it has a better 3D gyro. They did improve something. I, I haven't been practicing, to be honest. I can tell you it is my very first manual 3D flight after a couple of days. I did the flight on FW200 and I did not practice anything. And I feel it's much more locked in even using with the stock radio control. So better flight performance, better flight times, more stable for beginners in 6G mode and still very durable. Yeah, watched it. I crashed it a couple of times in 3D mode. Went with all that running 100% throttle on this and it's still kept on flying without any issues and kept on doing 3D. What else do you need? So many 3D RC helicopter lovers, if you are beginners, you can get K110S. It's durable and nice. If you are flying over grass, trust me, you will have much better luck flying this one because less risky to break rather than compared to crashing on concrete. So beginners can keep on learning, keep on flying, even crash, you can still pick it up and start flying again. If you're moving from beginner to intermediate, doing some 3D uh, inverted flights, uh, some basic 3D stunts, you can safely practice on this one because if you crash K110S during your 3D aerobatic learning practice, I am confident this little baby will still keep on flying and you don't have to buy parts. Now, speaking of which, it did come with a spare main gear a spare blades and a spare tail blades so most probably most probably if you are getting unlucky and you really chip the gear there's a new gear in the bag you can easily replace it but watching today's flight how i was crashing it on this concrete behind me and still the gear is fine everything no issues at all i am confident that this is going to be a really nice choice, a very, very nice choice for beginners to learn to fly mini RC helicopters and transition to move towards doing basic aerobatics and practice their basic aerobatic moves without worries of breaking anything because this mm, K110S from XK is a tank of a mini 3D RC helicopters. Thank you very much for watching this video. Give this video a big thumb up. Stay subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't done it, hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications so you stay updated for all the upcoming uploads. Now, I don't wanna fly FW200. I wanna fly this one more time. I still have one more battery. Come on. You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on. Don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.